This is Keisha Rogers, the worst Democratic candidate for Congress in Texas, and I'm out today reporting. May 14th marks the beginning for early voting, leading into the official primary elections for the state of Texas on May 29th of this year, where LaRouche Pack endorsed candidate Keisha Rogers is waging a fierce campaign for the policies that can save this nation. This comes at a time where the masses of President Barack Obama and local party hacks who serve him have themselves been served with a spoonful of reality, making anything they say, including Mitt Romney, irrelevant. Just last week, we saw the loss of $2 billion at J.P. Morgan Bank, the euro crisis with Greece finding themselves incapable of creating a coalition government, and the indirect takeover of Bankia by the Spanish government. These developments, coupled with recently inaugurated President Vladimir Putin's niet to the military bullying of Obama and the British over the ballistic missile defense systems. It is in these times that we not only face what could amount to the extinction of the human species, let alone the end of the United States Republic before the presidential elections, but a time where the power to say enough is enough may be exerted to establish a new economic paradigm fit for human beings. It is in this juncture of world history which collides with the campaign of Keisha Rogers running in the 22nd District of Texas, not for an election per se, but to gain victory for the survival of the United States as the unraveling world situation is setting the timetable for how quickly things can change. Demanding the impeachment of President Barack Obama in order to restore the constitutional intention of the Founding Fathers has broken ground to inspiring the American population to leave the caves of fear and join the mobilization. Alvin Manville, so it's big district recovering. I'm excited for you. All right, I need your support, need your help, and tell all your friends, vote in the Democratic Party primary if you want to send a message. It's time for Obama to go now. we got to take our Constitution, our nation back. Yes, ma'am. All right. You're correct. All right. You want to sign up and stay in touch with us? Nora. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I should have said that before. I'm sorry. I was so excited to meet you. <laughs> right now, the Democratic Party is running a massive attack campaign against me because they know that my campaign represents, along with a slate of candidates, a national mission to put a stop to this president and everything that he's re representing as a violation of our Constitution. My only concern is what he's representing is not us. That's right. right. Somebody asked me the other day, was I going to vote? And I said, I certainly am, but I'm not going to vote for the man in office. And she's like, why? And I said, why would I give him four more years of not keeping his campaign promises? And that's what he did. And, and she was shocked, and I started naming off all of his campaign promises in mm -hmm. his prior campaign. Right. And I said, I'm not better off financially. My health care is not more affordable. Right. I'm not paying less in taxes. <clears throat> I'm not more secure in my Social Security benefits. I still have Patriot at <laughs> I mean, everything that he named, right. it, it didn't happen. Right. The cathedral church that Hillary and I sat in 34 years ago is a total Since world. former President Bill Clinton's like mistake in failing to challenge an administration that illegally engaged the U.S. in a war in Libya, who has authorized and justified the assassination of U.S. citizens without due process of law. Democrats across the board have fallen demoralized, not because of Obama's insanity as such, but because the leaders of the Democratic Party have said they will not fight. Keisha, running under a Democratic ticket, has made clear she will fight. And as we saw, people are starving for knowledge of the fact that they do not have to lie on the couches whistling Dixie until the nation is destroyed, but they very well can participate in defining the presidency of the United States with the LaRouche national slate. What is needed is clear. Big projects led by the construction of Nawapa 21 to immediately place four to five million people back to work. National banking to finance it coupled with the reinstatement of Glass-Steagall to end the power of Wall Street initiatives that are promoted by candidate Keisha Rogers. To intensify the drive for this policy, 
her campaign going into the Maine 29 Texas primary, is building a mobilization for a NOAPA 21 conference Saturday, May 19th. Now, how has Barack Obama been dealing with such strong opposition? When a man is figured out to have lost his testicles, he incriminates the ones who still have theirs. In this case, those who share his painful severance of mojo are out to play the dirty work for the president. The Fort Bend County Democratic Party has engaged in a vicious operation on behalf of puppet President Barack Obama. But what else can we expect from party hacks who speak as if from the boondocks to know any better than to bow down in worship of a president who is merely a puppet of financial interests? Sad, poor little creatures can use a lesson or two of what it means to be respectable human beings. But out of sheer impotence, and hopefully some ounce of ignorance, they have attacked the potency of Keisha Rogers, and in disgust of the lack of patriotism within themselves, have made despicable claims regarding her character. Their impotence is reflected in the opening of an item published by the chairman of the Fort Bend County Democrats, Steve Brown, entitled, Beating Keisha Rogers, which states, What if I told you that a candidate in the Democratic primary would like to have President Barack Obama impeached? What if I told you that she's a 30-something photogenic and articulate African-American woman? Finally, what if I told you that two years ago, she actually won the Democratic nomination for Congressional District 22 and went on to enter the general election by viciously attacking our president. If you are not already aware of this person, then let me introduce you to Keisha Rogers. Acknowledging that Keisha won the 2010 Democratic primary on the basis of truth, he and the rest of the party go on to attack her going as far as to state that she has associations with the Ku Klux Klan. New highway signs have emerged with the slogan, Keisha Rogers is not a Democrat, that then refers residents to a website which calls Keisha an anti-Semite. Is it that they despise her? Or that her principled willingness to bulldoze the policies to save the country force them to see how pathetic they have become, which drives them subconsciously mad. Whatever the reason, what is for certain is the attacks are designed to kill the debate on what the American people want to hear. The American population wants to know, including many in the Democratic base, who will stand up to Obama's fascist dictatorship. Who will stop what looks to be an upcoming world war between three nuclear powers, the US, Russia, and China? And who will put an end to the bailout process that has looted the American people to the bone? During a discussion at a senior center in Rosenberg, Rogers delivered such a message. And so my policy, along with, I have a slate of young people that's running with me is to make sure that everything that our nation has represented under our Constitution, under the fight of great leaders such as President Roosevelt and President Kennedy, is not in void, is not in vain, is not lost. And that means that we have to have a, an emergency policy right now that this president must be removed. He is defending the interest of Wall Street over the American people. He has cut Social Security benefits, Medicare benefits. You guys probably have noticed this, that Medicare benefits and Social Security have declined rapidly the last three years under this president. Now, what do we do about that? Well, how do we meet the needs of every single citizen of our nation, no matter how old or how young they are? Most people say, well, we need some money to do that. We, well, where are we going to get this money? Because right now we're seeing that all of the money is going over to the bankers, to Wall Street. It's not coming to the people. And it's not the big banks here. It's big banks in, in, in uh, other countries. Exactly. See, because they're not even going to buy it. Yeah, 
and the big banks in other countries. And now the big banks in other countries, they're being downgraded. And they're saying you are going to have to have their, your Social Security cut so that you can pay for more bailouts to these big banks. We've got to get rid of Obama. He is totally religious. This isn't America anymore. No. He is not America. And that's why what my fight is, is to represent your interests. And that means that Obama has to go. The opportunity is now for the American population to take back what was given us in 1789. A constitution of the people, by the people, and for the people. A constitution that perishes only if we leave it to perish. When a great nation that once stood as the beacon of hope for all the countless inhabitants of the earth is threatened, are we justified to leave it so to perish with the excuse that those leaders whom we greatly respected have turned away in the hour of need? We now stand as a people, tested in our hour of darkness, whether we will choose to rise forth as patriots and worthy citizens of a great republic, to preserve it, to keep it for the benefit of generations to come, or we will fall together failing to act ourselves in this hour of need. I am a candidate for Congress in the 22nd District, but I am also a part of a national slate of congressional candidates working alongside a, an economist and a statesman who also served this country, Lyndon LaRouche, who served in Burma, India in World War II in defense of this nation under President Franklin Roosevelt. I am running to preserve and defend the policies of our Constitution, the policies that were put forth under our Declaration of Independence. I need you to stand with me today. The fight that you waged as you served this country allowed for me to be able to run, allowed for me to be able to express my views and express my principles. My opponents in the Democratic Party don't believe that I should be able to do that. They don't believe that I should be able to say what is principally true. And what is principally true is that we are at risk of losing this nation. And I will stand up in defense of it. And that means by calling for the immediate impeachment and removal of the President of the United States. I will stand up in defense of the nation by making sure that the future of this nation is defended and protected.